Around three months ago, I bought this E92 M3 with the sole purpose for making it a content car as well as modifying it on the side. However, because this was a massive purchase, I then couldn't afford to buy another car. So in turn would mean I had to daily this car. Now, daily in this car did not help my situation at all because the market had just crashed and I was putting more miles on this car every single day, burning a bigger hole in my pocket. And on top of the market crash and the cost to run one of these cars as a daily, I had just bought my first house with my partner. So I had a bit of money spare and I was very excited and I did want one of these very badly. However, it probably wasn't the most smart thing to do. But I could stand here for the next 10 to 15 minutes and tell you how much of a bad purchase this was, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't think it actually was. Although it was probably an impulse buy, it probably wasn't the best investment at the time. I can still stand here and say, I'm glad I bought this car for many, many reasons. And we're gonna get through them in this video. There is gonna be a few bad points, but we'll get onto that later on in the video. The first thing though, this is going to be an overview of my ownership of this car over the last few months. And I can quite happily say, I probably enjoyed it more than I did dislike it because it does have its faults, but it does have so many pros. And the first one is the fact that it is an M3. Now I think a lot of car people, everyone watching this video, you are all into cars. You do enjoy your own tasting cars, whether that's a Corsa or a Lamborghini, supercars, modified, anything like that. It's up to you and whatever your taste is. My taste is cars like this and anyone like me, in the back of their mind, they would like an M3 at some point in their life or an M4 or an M5, something along those lines. And that is particularly why I bought this because I really, 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 really wanted an M3 for the longest time. And I'm glad I did it because although I'm still young and there's plenty of time for me to get one of these, I wanted one badly. I went and got it and I'm glad I did it because they are exceptional cars. And now I can tick it off the list and move on to something better. So now I've owned this car for a few months now, I can happily say I enjoyed it, but I can also help people. So you watching this video, if you're looking to buy one of these cars and you're looking for things, tips on what to look for, I can actually help you now because I do know a little bit now. I didn't know anything before. However, there is a few things, rod bearings, throttle actuators, rust on the subframe, stuff like that. I will go through a few more of them, but they are the main ones really for these cars. So if you are looking to buy one, they are the sort of things you need to be looking for. Definitely the rod bearings and the throttle actuators because they are an essential part. You can get them done yourself, but they're very expensive. So ideally get them done before with receipts. So a big question on these cars is, are they dailyable? And yes, they are because I've been dailying this car now since the day I bought it. And yes, it is a very comfortable car. It is an E92 at the end of the day. They're very sleek. They are very comfortable. When they first came out, they were very comfortable. They were a new generation of car and they are very nice to drive. However, this, M3 probably isn't the most economic to daily drive and probably not the best for your wallet either. You can do it. Again, they are comfortable, they are fast, they are loud, they are fun, but they're very costly. So if you are gonna daily one, just keep that in mind. I have for the last three months now, and I've done just fine, but, and I can't stress it enough, they are very, very fun as a daily car. Now, I do read through every comment everyone puts on my channel. I have had a few comments in the past asking me if it is worth it or it shows that it isn't worth it because of the cost. Now, that is individual to you, an individual to me, an individual to whoever is driving one of these cars as a daily. It's difficult to say whether it's worth it or not because I might drive differently to how you might drive. You might drive a lot faster and a lot more aggressive than me or it might be the other way around or you might do less miles than I do more miles it, it is individual to you so to say it's not worth it for me it was probably on the end of yes and on the edge of no like it, it's in the middle for me really it was a nice car to have but with the amount of miles I did it probably wasn't the best idea to do it if you're doing short miles it probably isn't the best either it is it's hard to say it's all dependent on how you drive and where you drive and how far you drive and how long you have taken the car, the warms, there's so many factors. So I can't sit here and say it's not worth it because for me, I'm accepting and I think it was worth it because I've wanted one for a while. However, not everyone will say the same thing. So it's all dependent on you. And doesn't matter whether it was worth it or not, should you do it? Yes, yes, you should go and do it. So go and buy one and have some fun. 
Now the harsh reality of it, and I will tell you, you need to have deep pockets to have one of these cars, let alone run one at the same time. That doesn't mean you have to have £100,000 in the bank. £20,000 for a car is still a lot of money and it takes a while to get that sort of money to go and spend on a car. So that's what I mean by deep pockets. I don't mean I'm loaded because I've got an M3. Absolutely far from it, I can assure you. But you still have to have a decent amount of money to put down for one of these cars on top of the running costs. And I did go through on previous videos how much this car is costing me. Fuel, insurance, tax, maintenance, everything. We did a full rundown on that video. And I can safely say it is not very nice for you. They are very expensive to run. Of course, if it is a weekend car, it's gonna be very different. If you're dailying this car, it's gonna be more expensive. And that is just common knowledge. And that is the same with every other car because of all the running costs, it's gonna come down drastically if you are not dailying it. As a weekend car, I can imagine this would be an absolutely fantastic car to have because like I said before, they're very fun. They are a pleasure to drive. If you were to take it out on a Saturday and park it up for the rest of Sunday, you would enjoy it a lot because you wouldn't spend too much on the car and you would do your yearly services as anybody normally would. So yes, if you're gonna daily one, probably not the most cost efficient. If you're a weekend car in it, I would yes 100% because this is like a perfect car for a weekend car. Now, things that you need to look out for before you buy one, again, rod bearings, throttle actuators, and rusty subframes. If these are live by the ocean, if you're on the borders of the country, you're gonna be buying some sea salt and that is going to rust your subframe and underneath in general quite a lot. Other things, spotting on the carbon roof as well. For some reason, this is the only car on the planet that has a carbon roof that has spotting issues. I think they're chips and then they've got moisture behind them. That happens quite a lot on these cars. It is notorious on E92s, E90s, stuff like that. E9X platform. So that is something to look out for because it is very difficult to get that rectified. So ideally you don't want one with that on, then you can PPF it afterwards, do whatever you need to do. Underneath, of course, you have the rust again, but that is just common everyday car things. Don't go for a rusty car, which is just normal but a lot of these are pretty damn good. Now, if you was to ask me whether I was happy I bought this car, I would 100% say yes. I am more than happy with what this car has provided for me. I had joyful moments in this car driving it. I have been very, very happy in my ownership of owning this car. I'm not too happy with the cost of everything, but overall, I am very happy with what this car has done for me. Driving it every day has been an absolute joy because it is an M3, a loud, fast m3 so you can't really go wrong you can't not have a smile on your face when you're driving one of these cars so overall i would say this is a fantastic car and i have enjoyed owning it so in a nutshell yes this is an amazing car and it is by far the best car i have owned so far in my six seven years of driving this tops the chart for the best car now i have got a few cars in mind that i do want to bring to the channel so stay tuned for that because we have new cars coming. This car has been fantastic for me, and I'm sure anybody else who owns one can sit there and say the same thing because they are fantastic cars. And I'm glad I bought one because this has put a massive smile on my face since the day I bought it. And I can't ask for anything more in a car besides something that makes me happy. And it goes the same for you. If it makes you happy, go and buy it, go and enjoy it while you can. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.